Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to this important Bitcoin price update guys. We are still at $42,000 but we have a new trading week that just has started. Welcome to this nice Monday afternoon. It's a very late video guys but uh, I am currently switching some uh, equipment stuff so i'm switching my notebook to a newer one after i don't know how many years i'm finally changing again i'm gonna stay still with the same uh, type of notebook it's it's an hp specter 13 inch now the new one is 14 inch so i'm going to switch over to that one and also i did some stuff here on my main computer here in the office um so i have some um, technical issues at the moment with some stuff but um i think that everything is still running here good but uh, in the future especially while I am traveling I hope that the quality of the videos uh, will remain good since in the new notebook I have like a 9 megapixel uh, webcam and stuff like that and uh, much higher refresh rates better screen and so on so I hope that the quality of the videos also gonna remain good so uh, let's leave this off topic and uh, before we're gonna start with the main content uh, Remember to be subscribed on this channel leave a like if you like this crypto content Check out all the links that you find here in the video description Those are all the crypto stuff that I'm using here in the crypto world Especially all the exchanges that I'm using always diversify into several exchanges and of course also check out the newest pre-sales that I have invested Those are all very high risk pre-sales and meme coins and so on that are not yet listed on exchanges you can only buy them directly on their website i did to, i did some tutorials how to do that so check out all the videos in my channel of course and uh, here are the ones that currently are still ongoing and a big shout out is going out to zoomx because over on the zoomx uh, you have currently the best bonuses if you deposit uh, at least 100 dollars and of course you can start to trade here without kyc nothing very straightforward and easy exchange where you can trade Bitcoin and every altcoin that you want with your USDTs. So if you have some USDTs lying around here, you can trade everything. You can trade ORD, Manta, Ethereum, Injection, Injective, and so on. A lot of coins that you can trade here without KYC, nothing. And currently we are also giving away $100. So you can do some free trades. So put your UID of Zumax here in the comment section. Uh, just sign up with the link here that you find at the top and then share your uh, user ID here in the comment section down below because then we're gonna select randomly a winner. So now guys, let's dive straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because in the four hour, uh, we are in theory looking quite good even though we got this rejection right at the 200 moving average in the four hour. So we are still in a downtrend, but the lower um, moving averages here like the 20 and the 50 and the 100 are slowly starting. To have a positive slope since we are having four hour closes now above the median line of the candle channel so above $41,840 so it looks like that 42k is a good support now for Bitcoin we came down to test this previous resistance which now is new support and of course once we're gonna have four hour closes above the 200 moving average at 43k which is also more or less matching this uh, previous support trend line which is now new resistance at $43,400 if we break through then of course we're gonna resume here um, the uptrend basically or at least re-enter into this channel with a support at $43,400 and a resistance at $47,000. And I also believe that if we're gonna re-enter into this channel we most likely also gonna re resume the uptrend and the bull run here do not have a blow off top here at 49k but most likely have continuation here towards $52,000 before eventually we're gonna have a massive correction because I told you guys at some point we will correct heavily this correction that we have seen so far uh, in my opinion is basically nothing or at least in my experience a 20% correction is nothing in the crypto space uh, with, with such a correction no one is getting panic or is freaking out this is everything normal this is a perfect healthy correction during an uptrend and this is usually what we are seeing during a, a bull run towards new all-time high so after the next bitcoin halving so that's why i think that we still have the chance to reach 52k for the for the best case scenario right now but i still don't expect new all-time highs if we can push again above forty-three thousand four hundred dollars but at the moment i still think that it's more likely that we will get rejected here somewhere and then of course come back down towards the 
um, the 39k area probably also crash lower but at least for now it looks like that this bounce that is still going on uh, has the chance of course to uh, continue the uptrend here important resistance levels needs to get broken and this is of course the first and biggest one right here at around forty three thousand four hundred dollars also if we have a look here into the indicators you can see that the RSI is above the 50 level money flow is starting to increase after being here in negative and that is of course suggesting that we have here the chance to to push here towards forty three thousand four hundred dollars and maybe even push higher than that and therefore let's switch over into the daily time frame because here you can see that we got this fresh buy signal and right now we are still getting rejected by the 20 daily moving average but once we have daily closes above of it also here i think that we're gonna see here an attack of this resistance trend line at forty three thousand four hundred dollars and for the best case even push towards the top side of the cattle channels which is of course also very important resistance here at 45k but if we have daily closes back about forty three thousand four hundred dollars I'm pretty confident that we're gonna re-enter into this uh, channel here until we see a breakout to the upside or uh, to the downside of course but until then of course we are still below this important resistance here at forty three thousand four hundred dollars also here in the daily time frame the RSI is right at the 50 level it really depends where we're gonna close today because if today we're gonna close above the 20 daily moving average so above forty two thousand one hundred twenty dollars we have good chances to see in the next coming days continuation to the upside if not then of course here this is a rejection point and we will again come back down and uh, the reason why i'm still quite bearish is still because of the weekly time frame um in my opinion here we didn't correct um, too much yet we would need to correct much much more in order to have a, a bullish reset here and where to say that we comfortably can buy as much as we can bitcoin again because if you're buying right now at 42k of course we can go higher but if at some point we will crash down towards uh, the low 30s and um, the indicators are cooling off then of course it was obvious that buying here wouldn't be a good idea and this would be a take profit area and not a buy uh, zone but um, of course this can change if for example we have again weekly closes above 45k so above the top side of the candle channels then things can change here quickly but um, until then this is more a take profit zone than a than a buying zone in my opinion all indicators are currently starting to be shifted to the downside and this is not a good sign although the rsi still has a lot of room to go even to the just to the 50 level just to test the 50 level which will lead into a retest of the 20 weekly moving average at 37k we still didn't even come down to test the 20 weekly moving average and not talking about here the 50 or 200 at 31 thousand dollars so that's why I still expect a major correction here and not really here big continuation to the upside also based on the monthly time frame we have two days left and nine hours if the monthly would close above forty six thousand dollars above the top side of the calvin channels then yes i would be much more bullish but as long as we are having monthly closes below the top side of the calvin channels at any time we can come down to test the median line and this one is a 31k here on the monthly and also the monthly is looking quite over uh, bought you can see that every time we entered here into the red zone and also here into overbought condition like here for example this was more a toppy area and not a buying uh, opportunity buying opportunities so they are when here we have we are in green and buy signals then we are in buy buying territory also here after this bear market um, here when we topped out at 14k we didn't even enter into into the red zone so that's why right now we are deeply into the red zone similar like we were also here at 64k that's why my opinion the bigger time frames they are screaming for a correction but of course short term the daily and four hour they are suggesting that we could have here maybe one more run up uh, to retest important resistance levels it doesn't matter if it's if we're gonna top out here at forty three thousand dollars or at 45 or at 47 i think that it's only getting interesting and exp and we should expect new highs if we would see on the on the bigger time frames like the weekly and monthly closes at least above 45 to 46k then i think that we are in for potentially see bitcoin going easily towards 50 to 60k in the next coming weeks and months but until then i think that currently we are more in a potential toppy area where a massive uh, cool off a massive correction still has to come and the 20 percent that we have seen was basically nothing so far the US dollar index is also still in the short term uptrend. Uh, Nasdaq is going sideways. 
uh, Coinbase ha is having a nicer pump today. Uh, also here, this pump was expected uh, to test at least a 20 daily here at $140. And uh, also here, we are facing now a lot of resistance here. Let's see if, can, if Coinbase can, can push higher here. It is possible, the indicators are looking good. But as you can see also here, the RSI is just coming to the 50 level. Uh, the only good thing is here that yeah we're coming uh, out from very oversold condition. We have positive money flow. We have chances to push higher here, but we are facing here important resistance levels. Also, uh, if we switch over into Riot platforms, a lot of resistance at $12.50 $12 and the Marathon as well. We are seeing that bounce right now. This is ongoing. This is a good thing, of course, but the question is only, of course, if it's now a good time to cash out even more. Um, or wait until we get confirmation. I think that currently the markets are a bit undecisive. No one really knows in which direction that we, that we are moving uh, for now. It's very hard to trade also now with some short-term longs and shorts. I'm still in all my shorts currently. I didn't switch them into longs. I want to see confirmation of course, but I think that we still can push higher here, but um, as long as we don't have confirmation, especially in the bigger time frames like the weekly and monthly, I think that um, we most likely somewhere here uh, gonna find a potential local uh, top and then come back down. But it is also possible that we are going to short term overshoot it and push towards 45 to 47k. Um, everything is possible, of course, but as it is right now, based on the four hour and daily, yes, a little pump and a little push towards 43, maybe even 45 is possible. But based on the higher time frames, um, a bigger correction is very, very likely incoming. And uh, here on the weekly time frame for uh, Ethereum, quickly, we crashed again below this uh, previous uh, support, now new resistance again. So we didn't really confirm it as new support. We crashed again below of it. The resistance is at $2,400. We have bearish divergences, lower highs in the RSI, but higher highs in the price action. Also here, if we correct more, it's very likely that we will come back down towards the $2,000 level, maybe even towards $1,800. But um, this is only if Bitcoin would start also now uh, to correct. And um, yeah, time will tell. Let's see this week what it will bring. I think um, probably in the next coming days, we will see here more upside. But it's going to be interesting to see how we're going to close this week. Uh, if it's going to be again below the nine weekly moving average, this would, would be bearish. Uh, it is currently at $42,400. If we close again below, then of course it's likely that we will come down to the 20 weekly. And if this one is getting lost, also to the 50 and 200 weekly moving average. Time will tell guys, at least for now, the bounce is ongoing. This is good, but uh, of course still a lot of resistance in front of us. Let's see what will happen. So make sure to be trading this over on Zoomax. The, the sign up link is here in the video description. You can sign up completely for free. No KYC, nothing needed. If you get the $100 bonus uh, that you can get if you leave your, your UID, then of course uh, you can start to trade immediately and make some gains and withdraw everything that you want or buy more Bitcoin with that money. Uh, you can do whatever you want, but um, important is that you're uh, signing up to Zoomax with the link and put your UID here. And then of course also check out all the other exchanges that I'm using and all the newest uh, pre-sales. Everything is here in the video description. Check it out guys, that's it for now. Have a great Monday and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.